Hi everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. There's a new AI text-to-image model in town called SANA and it's promised to be the fastest model so far, taking only a few seconds to create a 496 by 496 pixel image. And it's free and you can run it on your local machine. So where's the catch? Well, at this time SANA only runs on a NVIDIA GPU, which shouldn't be a problem for many of you. It also takes quite a lot of VRAM. For the large 1.6 billion parameter model, I measured 17.6 gigabytes of VRAM consumption on my RTX 4090. But there is also a smaller version with 0.6 billion parameters, which should consume far less. And there's another catch. At the moment it only runs on Linux, because it requires some libraries which are not available on Windows. But actually there is a way you can run it on Windows, and in this video I will show you how. Each modern Windows system has a built-in Linux subsystem called WSL, so the first thing we need to do is install it. Open a PowerShell and type in WSL-install and hit enter. In my case WSL is already installed, but if that's not true for you, just follow the on-screen instructions and install it. I would recommend installing Ubuntu, which is the standard installation. You can find the detailed instructions for the SANA installation down in the description, so you just can copy and paste the commands as we go. Next let's open the file explorer and navigate to the folder where you want to install SANA. In my case, I will directly install it onto my C drive. In the address bar type WSL and hit enter in order to open a new Linux window there. Type sudo apt update and enter your Windows password in order to update your Ubuntu Linux if necessary. Then type sudo apt upgrade in order to upgrade Ubuntu if needed. Now let's open the SANA GitHub page, link down below, and copy the git clone command in order to download the SANA repository. You can also copy the command from my description below. Paste the git clone command into your WSL shell and hit enter. The SANA repository will be downloaded into a new folder called SANA. Once that's done, type cd SANA to switch into the new directory. You might need to write SANA starting with a capital S, because unlike Windows, Linux is case sensitive. Then type conda and hit enter. If you get an error message, something like command not found, we first need to install Anaconda. Otherwise you can skip to the next chapter. Open the Anaconda download site in your browser, link down below. Anaconda is a software packet manager and is also used to create the virtual Python environment needed for SANA. Enter your email address, check the agree checkbox and hit submit to download the Anaconda package. Please note that we need the Linux package, not Windows. Right click on the 64-bit x86 installer for Linux, choose save link as and save the file into your SANA folder. Back in your WSL shell type ls to list the files in your SANA directory after the download has completed. Find the anaconda.esh file that we just downloaded Mark and copy it with Ctrl C, then type dot slash and paste the file name, then hit enter and conda will be installed. You can also copy this command from the description below. The conda installation might take a while, just follow the on-screen instructions. When it's finished, copy the path to the anaconda installation directory. In my case, home Gerald anaconda 3, as we will need it later. Type source tilde slash dot basher c and hit enter to refresh the Linux shell. Then type conda and hit enter. Now the conda command should be recognized and this part of the installation is completed. Next paste the path to the conda installation directory that you have copied before, in my case home gerald anaconda 3 then slash bin conda space in it to initialize the conda environment. Then refresh the Linux shell again. Now let's create the virtual environment for SANA, type conda create and SANA Python 3.10.0y and hit enter. Let's activate this new environment by typing conda activate SANA. You can see that the command line prompt has changed from base to SANA. Then we need to install the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. Just copy the command from the description below. Then we need to install Torch. This will take quite a while, so I will speed it up. Next we install the Xformers libraries. Again, I'll speed up the installation.
Okay, one more step before we're done. Let's install the missing SANA libraries. Type pip install minus e dot and hit enter. So the installation is done now, but before we can start SANA for the first time, we need to get an authorization from Hugging Face in order to download the SANA model files at the first start of SANA. Let's go to the Hugging Face website. You need to create a free account at Hugging Face and sign in. I've already done it. Click on your profile icon up right and select Access Tokens from the menu. Then click on Create New Token, set the token type to Read and hit Create Token. A new window with your Access Token will appear. Copy it. Back in your WSL shell, copy the git command for creating the credential helper store from the description paste and run it. Don't forget to save your access token before. Then type Hugging Face CLI login and hit enter in order to log into Hugging Face. Paste in your Hugging Face access token that you've hopefully saved before. The token won't be visible as you paste it. Just paste it and hit enter. Hit Y to add it to your credentials. Ok, now it's time to start SANA for the first time. You can find a startup command for the 1.6 billion parameters model down in the description. Just copy and paste it. If your GPU isn't powerful enough, you might need to adapt this command to the 0.6 billion parameter model. When you start SANA for the first time, it might take quite a long time, because it first needs to download all the models needed. Further starts will be much faster. I will speed it up. Once it's done, you can find a link to your Gradio web interface in the line starting with running on public URL. Control click on the link to start SANA in your browser. Ok, here we are. Open the advanced options and adjust the image parameters as you like. Then enter a prompt and see how it works. Be aware, the image generation is in real time. For an image sized 4U96 by 4U96, it took only two and a half seconds to create on my RTX 4090. That's blazing fast. Here's another one. Just play around with the parameters and see what you get. For your info, I'm just working on another video where I will compare different text to image models like Stable Diffusion, Flux, Omnigen and SANA in terms of quality, speed, prompt adherence and GPU requirements should come out on YouTube in the coming days, so stay tuned. One more thing before I let you go. I've guided you through the whole installation process for SANA, but that's just a one-time thing to do. When you want to start SANA next time, it's much easier and faster. Just open your file explorer, navigate to the folder of your SANA installation, type WSL in the address bar to open the Linux shell, then type conda activate SANA and hit enter. Then paste the startup command from before, hit enter and you are good to go. Once you are finished with SANA, just close the Linux shell. Ok guys, that's it for today. If this tutorial was helpful to you, leave me a like and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for listening, see you in the next one.